the second I hit the throttle, I, I genuinely laughed out loud because it's a shocking amount of power. Today, we're out in the middle of the desert here where Hyundai have their California Proving Grounds, and we are doing our initial uh, testing on our Pikes Peak race cars. This is an exciting project, so I just wanna really thank you guys for being part of this and supporting this so strongly. We just wanna do a really good job for Hyundai, so whatever we can do to help you guys, uh, we wanna do that. So what we're doing at this proving ground is we're actually simulating the style of driving we'll do on the mountain to see how hot we're gonna get. So I've got the plan here, um, VDA first thing, just do some shakedown and I think the afternoon is what I call get the thing sweating. So that's when we're gonna start to push it a little more. To make a car fast and safe up something like Pikes Peak, you need two things, you need time and development. We don't have a whole lot of time, but what we can do is we can focus on the things that are gonna make this car faster within the window that we have to work in. So we have two finished cars. Heard of Autosport, did amazing things. They assembled these things, they gutted them, put roll cages in them, but that's just part of the battle. The next big thing that we need to do is we need to develop these cars. That means a lot of testing, doing laps with different parts and seeing what feels best and works best for the car. I want to try and start the run on the hour, and then that means it to stick to the timing. A project of this scale takes a lot of people to make things happen. We got Robin Shute. Robin is a four-time king of the mountain at Pikes Peak, but at the same time, he's an engineer at heart. So he really knows how to take a car and develop it to do what it needs to do at Pikes. Okay, Robin, ready when you are. EVs are at a bit like Goldilocks's porridge, I think. You need them not too hot, not too cold. So we're really focusing on keeping battery in this optimum operating range. Let's see how it's charging. That's astonishing though, for an EV to just chilling out. Yeah. Just with all that abuse. I was breaking early into that next one. Yeah. It's better just to Keezy. enter in a little bit slower and try to get your exit. If there's anybody that knows the mountain top to bottom, we got Paul Dahlenbach. Paul is a legend. If you hear Pikes Peak, you hear Paul's name. He knows what a car needs to be competitive up there. Well, it's the first time I've really driven a EV outside of a rental car, <laughs> it's gonna keep you on your toes because usually you lose the power in an internal combustion engine up top at 14,000 feet. And uh, with the EV, it's just gonna be going just as fast. Five, five, 55, three, 56, seven. It was consistent the whole time. Really? Nice. And then you got me. All right, battery is at 97%. I've filmed on the mountain before, but I've never driven there competitively. And this is all brand new to me. So I'm here to show you what's going on behind the scenes and what it takes for a regular Joe to compete at a mountain like this. I gotta reel myself in. They were like, there's one corner that just kept catching me and I, I was going off. And if that happens at Pikes, that's a bad time. Okay, we're all clear. All clear. All clear. Okay, we will meet you at the charger. Okay, copy that. Uh, that should be it for today, so they can uh, reopen the landing track also. Oh, that's good, the impressive fire, actually. But yeah, definitely the bouncing was, uh, I guess it's good because we can maybe have a go at it with the damn thing and see what's yeah. up. Yeah. You can't predict everything. You could try. And that's what testing's for. We've gone through different brake compounds, tires from five different manufacturers, gone through all the suspension settings, and of course, battery performance. There's so much effort that's been put in here, but it's motorsport. Anything can happen. 
Battery's uh, Goldilocks, not too hot, not too cold, and it's just sat right in its happy spot all the way through that. So, That's awesome. really reassuring. Electric cars traditionally have struggled when you drive them hard over a long period of time. However, this car is completely different. We found that we couldn't we couldn't make this thing sweat. It, it took it in its stride, and that's really really promising for the mountain because I think that means we can push flat out all the way to the top. Just getting to this point, there were uh, some late nights where it didn't seem like we'd make it this far, but it's going in the trailer. Come hell or high water. <laughs> so all the cars are done, all the equipment's being loaded. We head straight to Colorado and the uh, testing starts. As much testing as we've done, there's still questions that roll through my head. Is the battery good enough to make it all the way up the mountain? Are the tires gonna have grip up top? We feel like we're in a good place, but the mountain decides. The only thing we can do now is take the cars to the mountain and see what happens next. I could leave today and say that I did the cold life.